Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something different. Normally you guys are used to me doing unboxing videos, but today I'm going to go for a chill. I'm going to take you with me. So let's start the day off with breakfast now. One of the most important meals of the day. Can't be asked with anything healthy from the fridge. So let's see what we got over here. Got some leftover pizza from last night. Now you guys know you cannot go wrong with leftover pizza. What we have here is meat feast with barbecue base. Now a lot of you are probably thinking barbecue base on a pizza. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But trust me, it is really, really nice. It gives the pizza a nice, sweet taste. And what we have here is a mixed grilled pizza. So what I do with the leftover pizza, when I have it for breakfast, I put it in the air fryer. So let's get this in the air fryer. This is my air fryer. It's a, a Tefal brand. I did an unboxing of this on my channel. So if you guys want to see the unboxing, please check my channel out you'll see the video there so it's roughly been about three minutes so i'm just going to open it to show you guys what it looks like so far and that's it can you hear that sizzling just that sizzling gets me worked up uh, i think i'm going to put it in for maybe about 30 seconds longer and then it should be ready it's warmed up but i just want it to be a bit more crispy so let's put it back in here. now the pizza is ready it was a total time of about four and a half minutes now this is what i want to show you guys from the bottom it's cooked really well and I love a really well done pizza uh, this is going to be very nice I'm just going to put some sauce with it it's going to be ketchup and mayonnaise and then yeah just sit down and enjoy my breakfast now that's breakfast done and I'm just going to get ready to leave the house but before I leave I just want to show you my choice of trainers for today so what I'm going to be wearing today are the Jordan Westbrooks now again I've done an unboxing video of this on my channel We've got some nice weather today. It's currently 19 degrees. Forecast is looking at probably about 27 degrees. Sun's out, birds are chirping. Everyone's happy. Six and a half hours later. So I'm on the way to Greenhead Park. Uh, it's a really nice day. We've got 22 degrees temperature. Uh, I'm gonna go to the park and just walk around and show you guys what is in the park. So when you enter the park, you have this uh, slide at the top here, it's for kids. I can't obviously go up there because uh, I'm too big for it, but I'm going to be sending my nephew up and he's going to be making a video. So when you come to the park, the first thing you see on the left hand side is these two big pitches here. I think this is for bowling and to be honest, every time I've been here, no one's been playing here. It's always just been empty but it looks really nice, the grass is well maintained and uh, you've got some really nice plants here like this one here. I don't know what it's called but it looks really good, nice and spiky. And then you've got a few benches here where you can sit down and just relax and just enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the weather. Coming a bit further, you've got these tennis courts. Uh, I think there's two, no, there's three in each. So you've got three here, you got another set of three, and then you got another set of three above there. And then on this side here, you have this building. In here, there's an ice cream shop. You can buy some food if you want to eat something as well. Uh, but just a piece of advice, if you want ice cream, don't buy it from here. It's not nice. You want ice cream in Greenland Park, you go to one of the ice cream vans. They're a lot better. So over here you've got a, a basketball court and they've only got two courts here. I think they need more because there's a lot of people here. It's always busy. This is one of the probably most busiest courts out of all from here. And just above that you've got a skate park. That's also very busy as well. You've got a separate section here which I've not seen before. First time seeing it but it says Huddersfield Petank Club. I think that's how you... But now say, P, do you know what this is? I've not seen this place before. Oh, you got to have a membership. Oh, you can see somebody playing over there. They've got these little uh, hollow metal balls. Yeah. I think you have to get closest to Oh, right, okay. There's a little. Yeah, there's a little like bronze ball. You've got to throw the silver balls and try to get. I've never heard of this game before. I've never seen it before. But there's uh, two people. Oh, you come to the Squid Games. Yeah, the one where they had the ball in the hole and they had to. 
for the ball. When they, when they had I the can't remember. Came, I've seen Squid Games, but I can't remember this happening. They had that challenge where the guy mm. wanted to change and he changed this and he won. And the guy ended up dying. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, exactly. I can't the remember. Ball. But anyway, there's yeah. a cost for this. Over here, you've got a lot of greenery and it's just like a walking path. So if you want to come, you can actually uh, cycle out here as well. So if you've got a yeah, bike, huh? yeah, you can go around. Here. So there's some parking on the back street as well. So this is one of the entrances as well. The gates open, but the entrance that I came through, that was the main entrance. Yeah. These houses are uh, a bit newer, actually. They, they were the last within the last ten years. Yeah, within the last ten years. Because before they never used to have them, people used to come over for jobs. Yeah, but well, you got a lot of you got a lot of trees around here. It's a nice breeze when you're walking through. There's a nice shade here as well. I mean, today is a really hot day. It's about 24, 25 degrees at the moment, and uh, you can really feel the breeze when you're walking through here. Really nice breeze. It's a wonder to walk through here. You got a lot of greenery as well. Uh, it's actually quite a clean area as well. There's not much uh, littering. So over here you've got like a little train area. You can pay a small fee and you can have a little train ride. As far as I remember, I've been coming here for many, many years. There's always been the train here, but I've just heard that recently they've stopped the train rides or maybe they only do it when it comes to the holidays for the children at the school. But at the moment, there's no trains uh, operating at the moment. But if you can see this grass in the middle is very well maintained. So I still think they are using this. So if you can see uh, right over there, there's like a, a metal gate. I think the train is in there and the gate does look quite clean. So I think it is still operating. Uh, might still be used in the summers, but I don't know. It's not exactly summer yet at the moment. But if you look over there, there's a massive field and there's a lot of people just playing football, just casually sat around, just do having a picnic and everything. It's really nice. We'll go visit that area in a bit. Again, another nice picnic area over here. You've got quite a few people just relaxing, just trying to enjoy the sun. And it is a bit of a hilly area over here. If you come up here, you can see the majority of the park, a lot of people just playing, just chilling out, relaxing. Over there, we've got some uh, monkey bars, which I've been there for, I'd say about five, six years now. Is that right, Pete? About five, six years? Probably about that much, yeah. yeah and uh, as you can see, the people there are very, very uh, fit people, and they can do the pull-ups. I've tried doing it before. Do you reckon you could do it? <laughs> I've, I've done it, but it's so it's Yeah, even apart from that, I mean, we should have talked about yeah, 200, 200 pounds ago, innit? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> same, same with me as well. Yeah. So, up here, you've got like a viewpoint, and from here, you can see this pond, and there's also another building right over there, which we're going to visit in a short while. But the pond at the moment is very dirty, uh, it's not very well maintained, it's not very clean. There's another pond which I believe is on the other side over there, which uh, people jump into the water and have a little swim. That's but awesome. again, that sometimes open, sometimes it's closed, but we'll go visit that and see if that's open as well. No, no, the, that movie, uh, The Great Wall. Oh, okay. the, the Great Wall, yeah, at the end when they, uh, all those monsters come together. The one where and the they're attacking. Come under, yeah, 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 yeah. The and the and then it's to do with the magnet. Yeah, this looks a bit like uh, those houses at the end. So you got another fountain over here, which at the moment is absolutely dry. There's no water coming out of it. I think it might be because of the weather. What do you think? Is it because of the weather? Because the water uh, yeah. say a few months back, because of the water shortage. Yeah, Some that could be. Pipes. This is actually a bit of like a war memorial area, isn't it? Yeah, they had all the remembrance plants. Yeah, you got remembrance plants here, but the moment it looks like they're putting new plants in. You've got someone over there digging. He's busy with the fork, so the there, and then you got a statue there. Let's go see what the statue says. Here's the memorial here. It says here in memory of the men from the district who gave their lives for the country in the South African war. 1899, 1902. Oh, this is actually old. I thought it was to do with the World Wars. Yeah. This is before the World Wars. There's a whole list of people the here. Was unveiled by Lieutenant General Sir yeah. J.P. French, KCBK. On the Saturday, of May 20th, 1905. Wow. So this, this park's been around for a long time then? This park is very, very old then. Yeah. 
So people just come here for picnics, that's all they do. Yes. Really. There's, there's two people sat over there on the outside, but I think the inside is closed. It's a nice glass building. It's getting really, really warm. All the windows at the top are open. It's easy, huh? Yeah, but it's closed at the moment. This bit of the park, I have to admit, I really like this bit. I think it's nicely maintained, it's neat. It's got another war memorial there. We'll go around and see what it is. But uh, the way they've made it is a bit like a maze design. Uh, no one will really get lost here, it doesn't matter how small you are, kids or anything like that, but it looks really nice. I think it's a very good touch the way they've made it, but it's just a path coming in this way or coming in that way as well. This is a, a war memorial for the in British Indian Army who fought in the two world wars. This is actually put up by the Sikh Soldier Organization of November 2019. So this is more recently. This is the second pond area where I was talking about earlier. People come here and actually just enjoy the water, have a little swim. It's actually for little children. And right in the middle, right there, that black pole, that's where the water used to come out from. And it used to flow slowly into the uh, area and then it used to overflow and it used to come and flow into here as well. As you can see, it's all dried up. Again, probably to do with the weather. Got a water shortage and that's why they've stopped people from using it. When you come to the top side of the park, you've got the biggest playing area in the whole of the park you've got a lot of swings here you've got slides over there and you've got a lot of uh, climbing apparatus as well so it's really good for uh, kids especially in the summer nice and warm and finally this area here is a memorial for both world wars if you look here 1914 to 1918, 1939 to 1945. There's no access to get into here, but this has had a lot of expenditure on it. Look at the size of it, it's really, really huge. <coughs> the top you've got the cross, but there's no way to get in here. That's why it's so clean and well maintained. Someone's thrown a bottle over there. So that's it guys, we're right at the top of the park and from here you can see everything. These trees were here, you'd be able to see everything, but obviously it's summer, the trees are all blossoming and it's really nice. So that's the end of the video today guys, uh, I'll see you in the next one.